Three years ago, I showed up to the Yawari 100, knowing nothing about ultra running. My good friend John Gordon was running the race. He invited me to come out, hang out in the aid station, and see what it was all about. Your drive inspires me. Keep From that moment on, I was hooked. And so now, that's led me to this point. Well, all the prep, everything is, is done. I'm really excited. Some friends came out. Uh, Tyler's here. John's here. Andy's here. The, pe the people that got me into this, they're, they're why I'm running it. And uh, it's going to be a good day. It's be a good day. I've got to be confident that I'll be happy with my results because of the effort that I put in. Uh, I'll give it everything. The concept of giving it my everything. I thought I knew what that meant, but I was about to find out. It was going to take everything I had to finish my first 100K. The description of the Yori 100 is simply relentless. And it's that. It simply does not stop. Forcing yourself to walk the hills because at this moment you've got a ton of energy, but that won't last long. Well, we've made it through the first aid station. I think we're a little over five miles in. Been a great conversation this morning. Uh, daylight has decided to show its face. The goal is to run until I can't run no more. Once I can't run, then I walk. And once I can't walk anymore, I keep walking. Sasquatch Summit. Oh, the on. Cool. Didn't see Sasquatch this time, but definitely saw stars. 15% of the weight done. Feeling good. Probably pushing a little faster than I should, but we're having fun, and that's all that matters. Yeah, woo, 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 woo. So this is an aid station. This is what happens. What do you need? <laughs> Help keeping the mind right, feeling good. Adios, amigos. That was uh, the third aid station. I was actually planning to do six hour loops. That's realistic. Yeah. I'm almost back to the aid station and it's four hours flat. The hope is I haven't gone out too fast because I'm two hours faster than what I was expecting. Doing everything I can to stay positive. Everything. John's still here at Andy. Yeah. Okay, guys. See y'all. Lap two. Here we go. The goal is to stay positive. In the midst of the pain and the hurt, stay positive. That's all you can do. The next few miles were very difficult to stay positive. How's it going? It's good. It's good. Ah. How are you holding up? Uh, I'm doing uh, better than I thought I would be, for sure. Huh? How's your pace? I went out faster than I should have. I think that's how it always works. It's hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, it just you gotta distract yourself. You gotta, you know, keep your head right. Cause if not, uh, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just hard. You gotta keep your head right. Running in his boots and jeans. <laughs> That's a true friend right there. From the Crossroads Aid Station to Kelly's Kitchen were some of the darkest kilometers of this 100K. You constantly have to think about every step you're taking because you don't want to roll an ankle. You don't want to fall. My friend John Gordon, the year I came, fell and was not able to finish because of a back injury. So that was in my mind the entire time. I don't want to fall. I don't want to quit because of an injury. My thighs hurt so bad. The very interesting part was I could climb as fast at the beginning as I could at the end. 
but the downhills were so extremely painful. I don't lie to you. Sasquatch sucks so bad. Uh, I don't know how much footage I'll capture, only just because it's a lot of work uh, at this moment in the game. But I want y'all to experience and see what I'm going through. Um, I was moving much slower than I wanted. Yeah, are you doing the 100K? Then you're halfway there? Well, you only have to see us one more time. How exciting is that? <laughs> Man, Kelly's Kitchen, they treat you right over there. Definitely give you a morale boost. So I'm running with the princess of Uari right here. And uh, she was a celebrity at Kelly's Kitchen. What was your name? Jessica. Jessica. Good job, Jessica. Well, unfortunately, I just had my first cramp. Not good. So, we go back to Death March. So very early on in the race, we passed a hiker, and his words have stuck with me the entire time. He looked me in the eyes, and he said, positivity will get you to the end. I'm in a lot of pain, but I can walk, and I will continue walking until I can't walk no more. Once I can't walk no more, I'll keep walking. I will be happy with the results I get from the effort that I put in. Positivity will get me to the end. Honestly, the next few miles were extremely difficult to stay positive. My thighs were hurting so bad, every downhill was bringing me to tears. I was moving much slower than I wanted. And finishing my second lap, I realized how much slower it was, and it was extremely discouraging, knowing I still had one more lap to go. Well, you can't see me, but it's dark now. And uh, yeah, I hooked up with a really nice guy helping me keep the head space right. And just, uh, man, changed my shoes, changed my socks. It's like new feet, love it. I sat at the aid station for 35 minutes, really thinking about quitting. Everything hurt so bad, but I thought to myself, what will hurt worse, quitting or the pain right now? And so I kept moving. I just kept moving. This guy that's in front of me, his name is Sean, and I would not be where I'm at right now in this race if it was not for him. He has done an outstanding job pacing me, uh, keeping morale up, and uh, very, very grateful for Sean. Sean was amazing. I stayed with Sean the entire third loop. He waited for me at the aid station and was such an encourager. Thank you, Sean. At the next aid station, I was about to see one of my really good friends, Jonathan Fariati. I've done some amazing adventures with him and plenty more to come. Fariati! Oh man! You're getting it, dude! I am, I am! Woo! So look, it's Fariati! Uh, yeah. Well, dude, Fariati, later, homie! <laughs> so good seeing you, dude! See you, man! Rock it! Yes, sir! Well, I'm gonna do it. Oh man, seeing my boys and my wife at the finish line was so worth it. I want to tell you that I thought I would make it, but honestly, I didn't. I did not think I would make it, but I did. I stayed positive and I made it. Many people have told me that the Uari 100 was not the smartest first 100 kilometer race I could have done. I would agree with them, but man, what an adventure. <laughs> Look at that! I did it! Oh my god. Uh, it took me 20 hours and like 14 minutes. 
it was hard, but I got a smile and my family's here. And uh, I can walk to the car, so that's a good, good sign. First off, huge thank you to everyone that reached out to me and sent me uh, just encouragement throughout the day. I could not have done it without y'all guys. And so now, uh, I don't know if I'm ready for a 100 miler, but we'll see. So what's next? Well, a 24 hour race. I think that's what I wanna do next. 24 hours of continuous movement.